All my by myself, I got a doubt who's watching over me He's with me every step and when I stumble, he's just showing me So I by faith and keep it steady pace cause I was slowing me Down cause every day I never realize he protected me I'm Never on my own, I got a doubt who's on this wall with me But all of these shows, Euphoria and Cruel Summer Skin All of these different shows are showing you And the crazy thing about these shows they're showing you crazily sexually active, drug-using, crazy teens who all want to die and kill themselves. That's what the shows are about. They're showing you what happens when you live that kind of lifestyle. And people are entertained by it. Isn't that crazy? The devil can make a show showing you what will happen if you do this. And the folks watching it will start doing it. They're showing you the type of life and the quality of life you'll live on these shows. I got the one on here, too, because Kurt Franklin and this new show he has, it's the same thing. Folks on there just dating and sleeping with each other and all this foolishness, they weren't considering their future. God forbid you get 35 and 40 years old and you still trying to find somebody. You weren't considering the future when you were making decisions as a team. The devil moves quickly and can never consider the future because his time is short and he knows he will burn in the end. Y'all know the devil's going to burn? You don't know what it feels like to know that you're going to burn and nothing. there's nothing else you can do about it. That means that he don't care about anything. Why would he care? That's what makes him the devil. So he must quickly find pleasure in the now and not think about his future. So not only does he know he's going to burn, but he can't think about that. He has to do as much to get people to burn with him as he can. And he can't think about his future. So when you make decisions, this is what he wants you to do. This is the behavior he wants for you. He wants you to forsake the future for how you feel right now. He wants you to jeopardize everything for a quick moment of pleasure or acceptance. One night, he wants you to sleep with somebody, have sex. One night, man, if I could just get one, then you're pregnant. You didn't think about your future. Then you got a disease. You didn't think about your future. Something happened that's irreversible. Didn't think about your future. Devil's clapping. He's happy. Because you ignored all the truth, including this message, to do what you wanted to do, not considering your future. How many futures you get? One. The Bible says a prudent man, a prudent, prudent just means a person who makes decisions based on their future. In other words, they consider their future when they make decisions. Prudent man foreseeth the evil and does what? Hideth himself. He sees the evil and said, I, I can't do that because that's going to change my future. But the simple pass on and are punished. Simple is dumb. Whenever the Bible says simple, it's a nice way of saying stupid. It is. <laughs> Always keep your future family in mind. How many of you want a future family? Everybody does. Everybody that's human. You want a future family. Always keep your future family in mind when you are making decisions as a team. Your hope for a good future keeps you what? Considerate of the present. If you want a good future, now has to be good. You got to make good now. Isaiah says, even everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory, I've formed him, yea, I have made him. So let me kind of describe what God made when he made you. This is the family plan. You said you wanted a family, right? Yeah, everybody want a family. You want a little you running around that look like you? Don't you want that? So you can whoop them like you got whooped? 
Revelations 4 and 11. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things. Y'all believe God created all things? And for, you created all things for thy pleasure, they are and were created. So God created us to bring him pleasure. How does he get pleasure? By watching us have families. When we have families and we teach our families about him, that brings God pleasure. God created you for himself. Look at somebody and say, God created you for himself. I like the men, you know, the young teens on the video. God, God created you for himself, just, just in case the camera's over here. But God created you for himself, so you will never have true purpose and fulfillment in this life without him. Period. 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 You can try to be the best this, that. You can try to do this and that. At the end of the day, you're going to need God. If you don't have God, you're going to hate yourself. Period. Period. There's only one way to live this life the right way. And that's with the one who gave you the life. Period. That's it. So if you're deciding to live your life without God, you're going to have trouble. You're going to have problems. Because you were created for him and you're not fulfilled without him. You were created to model God in the earth and be his imager with your life. So you're here so people can see who God is and what God can do. Marriage, family, etc. are all the ways that we image God in the earth. Just as God created a heavenly family for himself, he created us to have an earthly family for ourselves. So basically we're here to have a family. Y'all believe that? Isn't it funny? Well, not funny. The devil knows that. The devil knows that. That's why every attack against you is, attack, is an attack against your future family. Every sin, all that y'all do as teens, is something to hinder your future family. The Bible says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Look at somebody say, Consider your ways. Think about what you're doing. Think about your decisions. Are they hindering your future family? Are you about to start a family as a teen? That's going to be a crazy family. Because you're crazy. Aren't all teens crazy? See? You said it. <laughs> and when I say crazy, I don't mean mentally crazy. I mean just you don't know what you're doing. How many of you in here know what you're doing? You know, the thing about knowing what you're doing, that means you're making money. <laughs> when you know what you're doing, you get paid for it. <laughs> I don't know to, yeah, you don't know what you're doing as a team. That's why I'm here teaching you, trying to show you what you need to do. The first thing you need to do is consider your ways. Look at somebody say, consider your ways. Say it to them, consider your ways. Yeah, the things you're doing, consider how it's going to affect your future. The devil was kicked out of God's heavenly family. Okay, here it is. So God created this family, all these beings. Devil got kicked out the family. So his desire is to not only wreck all earthly families, but he wants to stop you from being in a good position to start one. Y'all, the devil just blew it, didn't he? He wants you to be a victim of divorce. A bastard child, that's a fatherless child, abused, neglected, violated, etc. So you will feel inferior and never feel that you can live up to God's plan for you. These things cause young males and females to live in the moment instead of considering their future. Why care when all this bad stuff is happening? Why care when I don't care about myself? I get out here and just do it. Yeah, I smoke that, hand it here. Yeah, I use that, hand it here. Yeah, I do that. I just do it. I don't care. I don't care no more. Why you don't care? Because the devil has made what happened to you cause you to give up on yourself. I know this is making sense. If the devil can get you to violate yourself or someone else, then he can make you feel you belong to him instead of God. 
If he can get you to lose confidence in your parents, your pastor, or yourself, then he can start you on a path of self-destruction and selfishness. This is when, when we, uh, wait, this is when what you want outweighs what is truly good for you. When what you want outweighs what is good for you. The homosexual, what he wants outweighs the good, what is truly good for him. Homosexuality will kill him. It'll kill him. You live a short life. You don't catch a disease. They got like 30 different diseases that are running in their community that are never talked about. You'll be on that HIV commercial where they all just smiling. Have y'all seen that the HIV drug commercial? Yeah, you can live three days longer if you use this pill. They just have it all that three whole days. Dude, y'all going to die. Because it's unnatural what you're doing. But what they want outweighs what is good for them. Your own future is no longer as important as what you want right now. This opens the door for habitual sins, addictions, and vices to enter into your young teenage life. Habitual sins, addictions, and vices entering into your young teenage life. Many are hindered permanently by the dangerous sins that they embrace as a teenager. Sinning starts now as a teen. All the adults that's struggling with stuff first got a hold of that stuff as a teenager. Because the devil whispered something in their ear. You're not cute. You're not popular. You're not good. You're not cool. Something's wrong with you. Something's wrong with your family. Your daddy don't love you. Mama don't want you. Something. Whispered in. And then the devil came and brought his plan. And adults struggle to this day because of what happened. As a team.